Hey Gannon, instead of FaceTiming, I make videos for all the classrooms on Sunday morning, so I just figured I'd make a video for you. So sorry, my kids are in the background, they're crazy, you're gonna hear them. But I figured this was just easier because you could watch it whenever. So this weekend, your um, large group is, is the very first weekend of November, so you're introducing a brand new theme. So when you go up on stage, you wanna make sure that you command the attention of the room. So when you first get up there, put your shirt on. So when you first get up there, you want to say, good morning, guys. How are we doing this morning? And then look for a group that is all sitting quietly and doing a really great job. So the kindergartners will be right in front of you on the little blue carpets. The first graders will be on the big blue, blue carpets. The second graders will be on the yellow carpets. And the third and fourth graders will be in the very back. So I try to look for like a third or fourth grade boys group. And I, and I always say, wow, look at those third grade boys. They are being leaders today. Look at how they're sitting and listening. That's so great. And then I just, that's how I just try to get their attention. I try to compliment a group of the older kids and then all the kids kind of sit quietly. And I just kind of do that throughout. So welcome guys. We have a brand new month. I'm so excited for this month. We are learning about an awesome life app. It's going to be so great. So you have to just bring that energy, Henry, and bring the command to the stage. You have to be excited and kind of grab their attention so that they don't blow you off. So, um... You can. That's where you can kind of follow the script. Don't th feel like you have to do it word for word. Just know that you're just being, getting up there and getting excited. Um, so today's gonna be a great day. We're introducing a brand new life app. We're gonna be talking about it the whole month of November. By the end, you're gonna be an expert. So here's what our new life app is. And then the tech team will put it up on the screen. It'll say it's stewardship. Wow, that's a really big word. Do you guys even know what stewardship means? We're gonna learn a lot. Okay, so stewardship. Say it with me. Stewardship. Good job. And then they can read the definition with you. Um, and you can make the cheesy joke of it has nothing to do with steward or ship. Um, and it just means taking care of what you have because it all belongs to God. So let's read that together. One, two, three. And then you can say, girls, just the girls read it with me. One, two, three. And they always like to do boys versus girls. So then you can say like, okay, boys, you can be even better than the girls. All right. No screaming. I just want to hear how good you can say that together. One, two, three. Have the boys do it. Okay. All right, so that's right. For example, raise your hand if you have like a tablet or a phone or some kind of gaming device, and then you can go into that. All right, um, and then you can say the whole thing of would you ever put it in the bathtub or flush it down the toilet? No, that would be crazy. Why wouldn't you do that? Does anybody, can anybody tell me why you wouldn't do that? Call on a couple of the older kids. Yeah, exactly. It would get ruined. Um, so stewardship is taking care of what you have because it all belongs to God. So let's look at that again. Who does all that stuff belong to? Can you guys tell me? Well, I couldn't really hear it. Who does it belong to? Yeah, that's right, God. So that last part's really important, and then just kind of going over that paragraph, and then you're gonna go into the game. So a good steward makes the most of every chance they get, and a good steward knows that they either have to use it or lose it, and then it'll go into your game music. So here's where we're gonna play a game. We're gonna, all month long, we're gonna be playing a game called Use It or Lose It, and it's really simple. So today, I'm gonna pick out two lucky contestants and I'm gonna give them a really great opportunity and I wanna see if they can be good stewards. Um, one contestant will be victorious and for the other, there will be very dramatic consequences. Just play that part up a lot. So on the stage, I have for you um, two like metal little um, like potters and then some sunflower seeds and dirt and they'll be um, tablecloths that will go underneath that so they don't make a mess. And so they are going to pot those sunflower seeds. So I would call on two third or fourth grade girls, two to third or fourth grade boys from the back. Um, and there's gonna be a, a spray bottle. So they're gonna have 30 seconds and they need to plant their seeds. So you just need to make sure you have enough for two services. So I'll kind of split those into baggies for you today. And then in between services, when the kids leave, you'll have to dump out the pots from the first service and get them ready for the second service, okay? Um, make sure you tell them I'm going to be judging on speed and tidiness, so you have to keep it clean. And then kind of go in again. One group will get glory, the other will get dun, 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 very dramatic consequences. So then Tara's got a 30-second clock for you. <clears throat> you'll play. And then um, what you're, we're going to do is I am going to go to the store and just get regular broccoli. I'm not going to cook it. And I'm just going to say that for one group, they're the champions. And then and um, I'll get some candy out for them. And then the other group, they get broccoli instead. 
So you can you don't have to take it to their small group leader. You can just hand it to the kids and say, you guys get to eat broccoli, okay? And then you say, that was awesome. We're going to stand up and we're going to sing. And then the worship team will come up and sing. And then after the movie is over, um, I will send you that video so that you can watch it if you want to. Um, you'll just wrap it up. It's really, really brief at the end. You only have about eight minutes for your intro, so you need to watch the clock. Um, take about eight minutes for that intro, and then you just take a few minutes to wrap it up. <clears throat> and really, you just want to hit home the bottom line. Remember, everything belongs to God. And then um, go over the memory verse slide because it's their first time using the memory verse. So here's the memory verse. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Luke 16, 10. So that'll be up on the screen, but the motions weren't. So whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. So that's the memory verse. Um, and then um, you can pray if you'd like to as you dismiss kids back to their small groups. And one thing I forgot to tell you at the very beginning when you're saying we have a brand new life up for this month, we're talking all about stewardship. Write this into your notes. Remind yourself that you're doing this. But you are introducing that we are going to start um, a Be Rich campaign. And so we want to be rich by giving to others. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a change collector out in the main part of Oak Bridge Kids. And we want kids to bring in their change for the rest of the month starting next week, week two. And we want to try to raise $1,000 for Oak Bridge Haiti. So you can tell the kids there's like 70 kids down in Haiti that are part of Oak Bridge Church in Haiti. And they need books and notebooks and pencils and writing supplies for their school and we want to buy those for all of them so we want you guys to maybe do some extra chores bring in some money that you've been saving from your birthdays bring in some change from your piggy banks and over the month of november we want to try to raise a thousand dollars so make that a big deal talk it up i think that's it gannon you're gonna freaking rock it it's gonna be awesome i'll have everything set up for you um i will send you the video so that you can watch it for this week so that you know what the story's about let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks. Love you.